So welcome again. We haven't been on here for a long time, me and Zena. We haven't done this in a while, right? Uh, I think about six months <laughs> was our last video. And so, but this, you know, we've been still doing history. We just skipped a whole bunch of chapters. Uh, well, we've done the chapters. We just haven't put it on video. YouTube's terms of service have changed where you're not allowed to have children online. Uh, so it's, you know, it's been a big problem, kind of. But uh, now you're talking about Africa. So it's Unit 12, Medieval African Empires. And I actually wanted to do a, uh, a video on this because I thought it was very interesting. What do you think? <coughs> Nothing? You know you're going to have to read, right? Zine is kind of shy. Um, okay, so why don't you, you can just look at this one here and you can see, right? Okay. Can you see? It's better if you guys don't. Mm. All right, go ahead. Travel to Africa to see endless deserts, medieval kingdoms, and f fabled, fabled. fabled trade routes. Route, yeah, routes, okay. <laughs> Meet a male hero, Sundiata, King Man Mansa, Mansa Musa, Mansa Musa, explore Ibn Batuta, and Ethiopian King Lilivela. Explore Kahana and Mali. Mali, where salt was worth as much as gold. Wow, salt is worth as much. Wait a minute, you got something on your mouth. No, no. Take it off. Okay. Ew. <laughs> you just took the side of your mouth. And you just put it in your mouth? Why'd you do that? You just went like this and... You're supposed to flick it, Zena. Flick it. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Uh, Ew. <laughs> you just went like this way. You eat your boogers too? Do you eat boogers? Huh? You ate your booger before? You eat your earwax before? Huh? You have a try? Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, where salt was... <laughs> where salt was worth as much as gold. Journey along the Niger River and visit Timbuktu. Timbuktu. So we're going to take uh, turns reading. Zena's reading had gotten a uh, much better where she can just... Because the last time we were here, uh, I think I read most of the things, I think. Um, so, all right, so here's Welcome to Africa, a review of the continents, beginning of the study of Africa, the continent of Africa, show you know, history uh, history of the recent book. We don't do the history stuff, so. And the optional stuff we kind of just leave because we don't have a lot of time. We're kind of late because uh, they give a lot of work here. we got a lot of work and uh, for history. We are about um, how much? Seventy five percent done. So we're like seventy five percent done, and it's this. Uh, we got until the end of November, so we got to like fast. Okay. So review the following information with your students. Today we're going to start learning about the Middle Ages on another continent. So you remember we were learning the Middle Ages about Europe, right? You sit up. Yeah, sit straight. There we go. Come on, put your feet up there. God, this chair. Why is it leaning so <laughs> Is it broken? Why is it leaning? Because it's like sit it back in the chair. Okay. 
Um, so today we're going to start learning about the Middle Ages on another continent. First, let's see if we can name all seven continents and find them on the globe. Oh, where's the globe? All right, hold on, hold this. I'll get the globe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Watch this. Is the globe in where we have it? I don't know where that globe is. It's on Eric's toilet. <laughs> so, so here we have the globe here, and Zena, you're gonna tell us the continents. Can you name the continents? <laughs> what are the continents of the world? Asia. Yes. Australia. Yes, good. Africa. Yes. Europe. Yes. And Antarctica. Yes. North South America. Okay, yes. <laughs> Do we got anything else? Seven. Did you say seven? Seven. Say it say it again. We got Europe. It's okay. Europe. One. Africa. Two. North America. Three. South America. Four. Antarctica. Five. Australia. Six. Do you know the other name we call uh, Australia? Mm. Oceania. Ouch. Oceania. Ouch. And then w what's another one? We're missing <coughs> one. You said North and South America. China. No, maybe it's said Afri Asia, maybe. Yeah, so I'm missing Asia. Okay, so uh, we're going to learn about the Middle Ages in Africa. Let's find Africa on the globe. Where's Africa? Tell us where. Show us where. Okay, so she pointed to Africa. Um, what two continents are north of Africa? So you see, this is Africa, right? So what two continents are north of Africa? Well, I've already seen it. <coughs> Europe. Okay, and? Don't, you don't have to change it. This, no, this is Africa. And what are north of Africa, the two continents? Europe and? You don't have to look all the way over there. Just keep it here. Asia. Very good, yes. So the Say it. You call that the North of America? It is. So say it. Asia, Europe. Okay. What ocean is west of Africa? Where's west? Okay. Where's Africa? Where's west of Africa? No. No. Why does it say sea? Yeah, it said it asked you, what ocean is west of Africa? So that's the the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic. There's two big oceans in the world: Atlantic Ocean Atlantic. and Pacific. Pacific Ocean. Pacific. Right. Um, what ocean is east of Africa? That's very easy. Just say the two big oceans. What's <laughs> Pacific Ocean? Okay. What sea is north of Africa? Now you're looking at a sea. Ca Caribbean. No, because that's oh. that is not Africa. This is Africa. This is Africa. Why are you looking all? Why you keep turning the globe? Just look at this part. This is Africa. You don't have to turn this way. Just look at Africa, and then what's up? It's the sea that we always learn about. 
Yes, very good. Okay, so let's see if our answers are correct. What, huh? Okay. So you say North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, Antarctica. Europe and Asia. The Atlantic Ocean, right? Oh, I was wrong in that one. Indian. It's the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. Wait, wait, wait a minute. They said... Oh, yeah, it is the Indian Ocean. It's not the... Uh, Pacific Ocean. Okay, it's the Indian Ocean. And the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Okay. My daughter likes a fiddle, so I had to do that. Okay, so, um, North is what? What's C? Very good. Okay, so these are materials that you should gather. So we're going to have a map of uh, Asia. Oh, what did I say? I said a map of Asia, a map of Africa. <laughs> okay, so you got Ghana, Mali, Egypt. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. So this is medieval Africa. So a lot of these countries don't exist right now that we see on Africa. So you have Ghana, Mali, Ethiopia, Egypt. You remember Egypt is now Muslim, right? And, uh, and Spain. Part of Africa. Right. Yeah. And and Spain is Muslim, right? So all these parts are Muslim, I think. Egypt, Arabia, Spain. Because we had the uh, Crusades, right? Which is not very good for Africans. Uh, okay, so here we go. We've learned about Europe and, and the Arab world during the Middle Ages. What religion came, became important in Europe? Hmm. What religion became important in Europe? <coughs> no. <coughs> you had two major what? religions. What are they, the two? Christianity. Or three. Okay. Christianity is the, that's that's the one that became important. So we have three religions. What were they that were that became very important? Um, Muslim. Muslim. Is Islam. Oh, Islam. <laughs> and then what's the other one? Ju Ju Judaism. Ju Judaism. Judaism. Okay. Um. What religion became important in the Arab world? Huh? What religion became important in the Arab world? Islam. Islam. Okay. Do you think Europeans and Arabs knew about Africa in the Middle Ages? No. You don't think so? So what about Egypt? They know Egypt is in Africa. Shh. Right? Okay. Okay, read this. Europeans. Europeans have heard of tales of Africa even before Julius Caesar met Kit Clep. Clep. Whoa, you forgot her name? She got bitten <laughs> by the snake. I know. So what's her name? Cleopatra. No. Oh, Cleopatra. Yeah. <laughs> As <coughs> crusaders marched east to conquer Palestine, they heard more reports about Africa. Muslims knew Africa first, first hand. 
they rode west across North Africa to trade, then to conquer c- c- Christian Spain. Let's look at your map and find Spain in the west. Now find Palestine in the east. Okay, what big continent stretches like a bridge beneath these two lands? Okay, so, oops. <coughs> so, we, did they, what did they tell us? To, Spain is here. <coughs> Egypt. What land spreads like a bridge? Oh, what big continent stretches like a bridge <coughs> beneath these two lands? Of course, it's Africa, right? Mm-hmm. Where's Palestine? Can you show me? Okay, good. Palestine, here, right? We're still fighting for Pal. People are still fighting for Palestine today. Okay. Um, during medieval times, travelers from the Islamic Empire and Europe begin to explore the vast land of Africa. In the lessons ahead, we're going to explore Africa too. We'll visit a kingdom of gold, walk through the gates of a great medieval city on the Niger River, Niger River, and meet some amazing African rulers. But first, let's learn about this enormous continent. So we're going to learn about the continent uh, of Africa. I didn't learn about this continent when I was young. These are the materials that you should gather, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to know that. Okay. Everything about Africa is big. In Africa, you'll find the world's largest desert. (laughs) The world's longest river. River. The world's longest river. Good. Uh, do you know the largest desert? Zambia. No, that's way over in the <laughs> very cold part. You mean Sahara Desert? Uh, Sahara. The Sahara Desert, right? The world's longest river and an immense rainforest. That's three America inside Africa. Let's see, an immense rainforest. What rainforest is in it? Do we know the rainforest? No. <coughs> okay. Um, you could put three countries the size of the United States of America inside Africa and still have room left over. Now, we got to remember that America is a country and Africa is a continent. Okay? There's two different things. All right, so let's look at your map. (coughs) Below the tip of North Africa, the sands, bare rocks, and gravel of the Sahara. So let's let's figure out how to say this word. Sahara. Sahara. Sahara? Yeah, like your hair. Sahara. Stretch for thousands of miles. The word Sahara means desert. In Arabic. Oh, so that word came from Arabic word, Sahara. Okay? Um, But calling the Sahara a desert is like calling an ocean a pond. (coughs) Mm. You hear that? It says, calling the Sahara a desert is like calling an ocean a pond. Because it's much larger than other desert. The Sahara is the largest desert in the world. So what's a desert? Plenty of cactus and and almost no plants for little, little water. So little, little water. Uh, Hard to survive. Can you see the Sahara Desert? Where is it? It said northern... It's the northern part of Africa. So can you find the Sahara Desert? Can you see the Sahara Desert? 
I don't see the name. <laughs> Maybe you don't have the name here. Wait a minute. Do you see the name? <laughs> you mean this part of the Sahara Desert? Oh, the striping part. What? Oh, the striped <laughs> part is it's the, it's the Sahara Desert. <laughs> Hold on. Stay here. Okay, we read it stuff. Say Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. Say Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. Okay, very good. Say say that the Sahara Desert is in Africa. Say Africa. Africa. No, say Africa. Say Africa. Africa. Why he says Africa? Huh? Why does he say that? Because he can't he can't pronounce the word. Okay. Nah, don't touch that. You can only touch this part. Okay. Uh, but calling the Sahara Desert is like calling an ocean a pond because it's much larger than other deserts. The Sahara is the largest desert in the world. Let's color the Sahara Desert yellow. We don't need to color it yellow. Uh, north of the Sahara are some mountains. We'll call them brown. Say brown. 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 Okay. The Nile River. Say Nile River, Aries. Nile River. Nile River. Nile River. Show me is a river. River is just. Cook. Cook. How do you say river in Chinese? Cook. It's river, right? The, the world's longest river is on the eastern side of the Sahara. Let's outline it in blue. Okay. This is going to be a hard lesson. You see, I got to deal with two children, guys. It's not easy work. Okay. Can you read that? The, on the edge of Sahara. Sahara. Medieval travelers found, found herders with animals and farmers growing crops wow. in the middle of the desert. It's on nomads, one wa wandering mm -hmm. from o oasis, oasis. Oasis. O o oasis. To oasis. To, to oasis. A oasis. An oasis is a place in, in the, the desert. desert with enough water to drink and to grow plants. So, so what is an oasis? Neutral. Yeah, so when, if you're in a desert, if you find an oasis, you're very lucky. Okay? So, they saw nomads wandering from oasis to oasis. And oasis oh. is a place oasis. in the desert oasis. with enough water to drink and to grow plants. Give me an iPad. What do you cook? Woman, your shakula. Yeah. Huh? Which ma? Woman, your shakula. We have class. No, no iPad. He said he will cut your work. I'll cut you in half. I'll cut you in half. He said he will put it back. What do you mean? If I cut you in half, how are you gonna put it back? I cut you in half. Hiya, hiya. I cut your legs off. Oh, it means he put him back. <laughs> okay. So this is a, oh, 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 oasis. So best of all, travelers found trade routes that crisscrossed the Sahara like lines on the palm of a hand. The trade routes linked African cities on one side of the desert with cities on the other. Trade trade to Muslims 
and European merchants, stop, pay attention. Trade was a sweet word. Traders from as far away as India and even China began traveling to Africa to sell jewels, spices, and silks. Come here. You don't want homework. Okay, read that. Merchants and explorers. Here, hold it. Merchants and explorers who went south beyond the S -S Sahara to found Savannah. Uh, yeah, so merchants and Savannah is a wide belt of flat, open grassland. Where gla grasses can grow over ten feet high, that's higher than most ceilings. Mm -hmm. Let's color the savanna. Grasses can grow savannah. very high. Like we didn't see that movie Congo. Did we see Congo? We didn't see Congo. No, don't do that. Let's color the savanna light green as well as a corresponding box in the legend. Ah, oh, Ari, stop! <laughs> okay, merchants and explorers who went south beyond the Sahara, say Sahara. Sahara. Found the savanna, say savanna. Savanna. The savanna is a wide belt of flat, open grassland where grasses can grow over 10 feet high. That's higher than most ceilings. Okay, very good. All right, so we're going to go to the next one. Why do the continent of Africa, why do plants grow in the savanna? Say savanna. Savanna. While very few grow in the desert. Say desert. Desert. Rivers. The Niger River runs along the western edge of the savanna. Say savanna. Wanna. Let's find the Niger River. Say river. River. On the map and outline it blue. In the windy desert, medieval travelers saw only caravans of spitting, bad-tempered camels that carried goods across the trade routes. Spitting, bad-tempered camels? Mm-hmm. But in the savanna, say savanna, they found stripped zebra. Show me a zebra. Zebra. Show me a bao ma. Bao ma. Show me a bao ma. Bao ma is a lion. What? Show me a bao ma. Bao ma is a animal. It's an animal. It's like a horse. Bao ma. Bao ma. Oh, bad. Bama, bama. Show me is a bad ma. Bama. Is a is a like a horse with stripes, right? Mm. Like a donkey and a horse. Donkey, donkey, donkey. donkey okay. Horse. But in the uh in the windy desert, medieval travelers saw only caravans and sp and spitting bad-tempered camels that carried goods across the trade routes. But in the savanna, they found striped zebras. Snacking, oh, striped zebra, snacking on the grass. Lions, say lion. 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 Lolling under trees and hippopotamuses, smiling, toothy lion. smiles. You say hippopotamus. Hippo. Hippo. Show me a hippo. What's a hippo? Show me a hippo. Huma. 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 Water horse. Okay. Near the rivers, travelers found villagers where people mined gold, hunted animals for food, and farmed the land with iron tools. Pay attention. Sit down. Pay attention. You want to play Pokemon? We got Pokemon uh, Sword. Mm hmm. Okay, read. <laughs> Go ahead. Many more travelers Wait, hold on. had made their way south oh. through the grassland. Mm -hmm. They would have entered 
the rainforest. Rainforest. In the rainforest, rainforest, everything is warm and wet. Trees grow so tall that thick and thick that if you look up, what? all you can see are little scraps of the of sky. Let's color the rainforest dark green as well as the c- 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 ca- corresponding corresponding box. Corresponding box. In the legend. In the legend. Don't touch the blue part. Why is a rainforest warm? Put it to your mouth. Let's look at the map and find out. Do you see the line that runs through the center of Africa? This is a mint. Mi- 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 imaginary line divides the northern imaginary. and imaginary sh- imaginary what line. What does that mean? Imaginary. Imagine the line. What does that mean? Not real. Okay, good. Imaginary line divides the northern and southern southern the and southern hemisphere. hemisphere. So you have a a circle that is the earth. And then you have the northern hemisphere, oh. which is the top half Sing. of the. It's the top half of the Earth, and and the the southern has hemisphere is the bottom. Half. <laughs> northern hemisphere is the top half. Southern hemisphere is the bottom. Sing half. Bong. There. Uh, few medieval travelers tracked deep into the rainforest. If they had, though, they would have found the mighty Congo River. Let's find the Congo River and outline it in blue. The Congo River, deep in the jungles of Africa, would have been a hard place for travelers to reach so long ago. Okay? So where's the Congo River? Can you see it on the TV, on the television? Where? I don't know what that mm-hmm means. Where? Use this to point. Okay, so it's very long. I remember a television, a movie called The Congo. One day when you get older, I'll let you see it. About crazy gorillas going crazy. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one is yours. Oh, I can read it. <laughs> Stop chewing your gum. Put it on the side of your cheek. This is class time. No, I mean inside of your cheek. Don't chew it. You're not supposed to chew gum in class, you know. Okay. But east of the Congo and a little to the north lies a big peninsula that medieval... What is a peninsula again? A a land almost covered all around by water. Very good. Um, And a little to the north lies a big peninsula that medieval traders could visit by ship or caravan. On the map, this huge piece of land looks like a horn on a rhinoceros's head. It's called the Horn of Africa. The Horn of Africa is desert too. Now we know what the continent looked like to medieval travelers and traders who crossed the sandy desert, the grassy savanna and the broad rivers. And now we're ready to learn more about Africa during the Middle Ages. Can you imagine that, that time? It's so beautiful. You're a trader. You just walk and walk and you see the beautiful night sky and then you see the lions playing around or whatever. Well, you don't want to be near that part. And maybe you don't want to be eaten or whatever. But where's the Horn of Africa? Ethiopia. So this is the horn of Africa, I'm guessing, the rhinoceros horn that they're talking about. Yeah, those are water in the sea. 
<laughs> Where's the horn? Oh, you mean here? Here? That doesn't look like a horn. So this, like this, must be the horn, like this. No. You mean only this? No. Not even. Oh, you mean here? Oh, so that's the horn. Yeah, that kind of looks like a rhinoceros horn, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that would be more um, sensible. All right. Well, this is going to be the longest one because it's the first one. So uh, Always the longest one. I said it's always the longest one. Okay, so I think that's it. So today, okay, so review the information from previous activities by asking you, where is the Sahara on your map? I know, but what part of Africa is the Sahara in? Good, the northern part. And where does the word Sahara come from? The word Sahara. Sahara? Mm hmm It's an Arabic word. Okay. Um, what words would you use to describe this desert? What words would you use to describe the desert? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hard to survive. Good. We learned that south of the Sahara lies the savanna. What words would you use to describe the savanna? Oh, I, I see what you did. You said yellow. So yellow is the desert. And then the bottom here is the savanna. So this is the Sahara Desert? Is the yellow part? Mm -hmm. And the green part is the savanna? Mm -hmm. What words would you use to des uh, describe the savanna? The green part is the what word would you use? Beautiful. What else? Wet. Okay. Because it's rainforest. Um, have tall trees. Okay. Shady. Green. 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 Dangerous, maybe. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah, lions. What? Lions doesn't live in there. I thought they live in the the the, the savanna. Aren't they in the grasslands? Oh, they maybe they're in the plains. Okay. No, they're in the savannah. Here is a map of Africa showing three rivers. Which one is the Nile River, the Niger, the Congo? The Why Niger. The Niger. No, no, no. Niger River. Niger. Okay, so this is the lesson for today. So uh, excuse our this kind of unprofessional way that we did it. I don't really have a choice. I have two children. Got to take care of them, right? So uh, please like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll do another one when we have some time because I really want to do the African uh you know, I, w I, w I want to do Africa with my daughter, and I want to put it online. So hopefully tomorrow I won't be too lazy, and we'll do this again. Hopefully my son will not be here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye-bye.